One day, after a long night of partying, Silenus, a friend of the god Dionysus, became drunk. After stumbling around for a while, he ended up wandering on King Midas' doorstep. So what do we have here? Hey, aren't you Dionysus, friend? Yes! Next day. What's up, Midas? Oh, hey, Dionysus. Your friend came by last night. Oh, I know. Can I see him, please? Yes, here he is. Bet! He looks nice. Is there anything I can do for you? I always wanted to have everything I touch turn into gold. Is there anything you can do? Well, sure, but I'm gonna have to warn you. Whatever you touch turns to gold, not just what you want. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just give me the touch. Whatever you say. Yes, yes! I'm gonna become the richest man in the world! Man, I'm hungry. Time to eat. Ten seconds later. Wait, what? Oh, sweet lordy Zeus, I can't eat! This is going to be a problem. But eh, I'm not even that hungry. I'll just figure this out later. In the meantime, I'll just go... Visit my beloved daughter Aurelia before she leaves for Athens. One hour later. Well, time to leave. Wait, wait, let me give you a hug. Oh, hi, Daddy. Let me say goodbye, Charlie. No! Aurelia! Please come back! Dionysus, get rid of this stupid golden touch! So I heard crying in my name. Do you need something? Yes, yes! Please take this touch away from me! Oh, it's permanent, and I, uh, warned you, so, uh... Flashback. Well, sure, but I'm gonna have to warn you. Whatever you touch turns to gold, not just what you want. Yeah, yeah, whatever, just give me the touch. Whatever you say! End of flashback. Is there anything I can do? Well, you can go ba bathe in the river of Pactolus, and that might work. Yes, yes, thank you very much. One wiener later. While Midas was in the water, the sand in the riverbank turns into gold, which explains why the Pactolus River in Turkey was famous in ancient times as a source of gold. Oh, I think it worked! Midas returns to the castle to find Meredith fine and on her trip back to Athens. Hello there, this is our presentation on Midas and the Golden Touch by A.J. Merrill and Dax Skipwith. Before we start, here's some background on the king himself. Midas was the son of the legendary leader of Phrygia in Asia Minor. After his passing, Midas became king and started his own family. It also shows a theme of how things can be too good to be true. This is because the Golden Touch sounds great. I mean, if someone offered you a Golden Touch, wouldn't you take it? So overall, Midas and the Golden Touch shows two themes of greed, which is that if something sounds too good to be true, then it is likely that it is not true. Also, in the other versions of the myth, Midas starts to hate wealth and he goes on to live in the countryside and becomes a worshipper of Pan, the god of the fields. Okay, goodbye for real now. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.